Welcome back to the goalie be a pro right now Columbus is doing quite well we're fifth in the entire league we also made that big pickup of getting Trevor Zegras a former teammate of Scott and at the moment our individual stats aren't too shabby you know we have a 19-7-2 record 906 save percentage which is you know uh, yeah fine I'll take that I'm pretty sure last video I was saying 906 isn't that good but I think, you know, I just have really high expectations. I want to get that 910 or above, ideally. 306 GAA isn't awful, so we take that as well. Our next matchup is against the LA Kings, who are currently first in the league. They have a record of 24, 9, and 3. So they are having a season. One of the seasons of all time, you might say. And just as a refresher, let's go ahead and view the lines here. I know I already said we have Zegris, but there he is. And... Are you kidding me? What is with this team? Why do we have so many injury problems? Well, anyway, here's our offense. I saw an interview of Nino Niederreiter. I feel like I said this already, and he just seemed like such a cool guy, so I'm a big fan now. Let's go, Nino. Happy to have you on the team. Caden Gooley has temporarily reclaimed the top two while Slavin is out. But yeah, overall, when he gets bumped out, our defensive core is actually not too bad. And last but not least, I don't know why I went to offense first, but in net. We have Scott Sterling, 96 overall, and Dylan Ferguson, who I believe is actually doing quite well. Yeah, almost a 930 save percentage. That's nuts. And just to confirm, this is in fact our final year in Columbus. Thank you to whoever commented that I could check here. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm pretty sure I have checked this before, but then I just forgot. Let's sim up to this next game, see if we're in for it. If we are, I would like to take on the current best team in the NHL. I think that would be a lot of fun, hopefully. And hopefully we don't get lit up like a Christmas tree. So let's start the simulation. Columbus Blue Jackets, LA Kings. Here we go. Five on three for LA and they couldn't capitalize. Shots were 8-1 there for a second, I believe. But we're kind of pulling it back here now. Love to see it. Still no goals. If there was wood, I, well, I mean, yeah, but I'm not going to reach for that. So there shall be no knocking on the wood. Second period underway. Shots are still in favor of LA, but that doesn't matter. We get one from Kempe on Stewie. No way. He is now an LA king. Jones buries one. Oh my word, guys. Where'd this come from? Just an absolute barrage. Arthur Kaliev breaks the ice for LA, and now it is a two-goal lead, and it looks like that might be the case heading into the third period. Let's go close this one out. I feel like I said that maybe a little too confidently. There is a very legitimate chance that we blow this lead here in the third, so just going to try to not do that. If we can get another one right off the bat, what a fiery start for the Jackets. Kivi Haru sends it over. That is saved. And how? How did that get caught on his skate or whatever that kept him in possession of that? That is outrageous. All right. This time, we got the pass through to David. Things went well. Here we go, Trevor. Carries it up the ice. Don't you dare get destroyed against the boards. He makes a great pass. Wow. All right. So this has been an insane third period so far. There's been... Chances at both ends of the ice. And I'm kind of here for it. This high pace. Seems like it's going to be a fun one. And there we go. Marchenko. The goal scoring machine. He's trying to fire the crowd up. Big snipe. And now we have a three goal lead. Reestablished actually. Because we were up 3 nothing, And then obviously they got one from. Was it Kaliev? But we are right back. On top by three. Oh, Marchenko's our captain now. That is awesome. Well deserved. And it better not just be because Johnny's out. I don't know if they would change it for that. Oh, wait, no. Johnny's here. Okay. Yep. Steer that one aside. I did see a comment saying I got to stop sliding so much. So I will try to minimize the movement and the amount of sliding that I do. That wasn't even close to the net. They do still have it, though. Wow, we cannot get this thing off of them right now. Talk about puck on a string. That's what this feels like. Oh, no. Not behind the net. And we're also taking a penalty. This is just a nightmare for the Columbus Blue Jackets right now. Big glove save. Dubois, another one. Smother it, please. Did we get possession or something? Maybe? I don't know what happened there. Either way, two minutes for slashing. You can't do that. Let's kill this thing. Oh, they win the draw clean too. Spence goes to rip one. It's blocked. Pass in front. Good job, 2-3. Wonderful defensive play. And he sends it down the ice. Doesn't even make it to the blue line. 
What a pass. This game went from being like very offensive to being extremely physical. There are hits going on everywhere. Another save. Yeah, why not? Let's get risky here. We have a three goal cushion. I'm saying that as if I wouldn't have done it if the game was deadlocked and there was like 20 seconds left. I would have. Let's be real here. Pass it. Bjorkstrand let a missile go. But it didn't hit the net. That did though. Ken Johnson. I think he just got tripped into that one almost. Gotta see the replay on this one. I love how fast he got to the bench too. That's impressive. He must have hustled. So he kind of just picks it up. Yeah, he got nudged into it. That's awesome. All right, we take that. We are absolutely deleting the LA Kings, who are once again first in the league right now. This would be a massive W for us. Picks it up. This is the longest replay ever. I don't know what causes this, but anyway. Nice. Attaboy, Spence. Appreciate your help. Oh, ho, ho, ho. how does it feel, 5-9? Huh, Bert? How does it feel to get absolutely destroyed? Oh, oh, my. Okay, so their goalie saw what I did, and he was like, hold my beer. And then he went and did that. Definitely one-upped me. Bravo, sir. Quite the forecheck by Bertuzzi. Behind the net. You know what? I am going to hug the post. I don't like those zero-angle shots, but somehow... They've been finding a way. As if. No chance that was going in, Victor. Maybe he's going for the rebound, though. It was a low shot far side. Could be an option. They have Hellebuck on the bench right there. They really said we don't need our starter this game. Well, I'm sure you regret that now. Oh, Marchenko. Tried to make a move, and their defender was all over it. Saw that coming from a while, a while away. <laughs> Yesterday was a really long day with work, and it's early in the morning, so my brain is not doing what it should be doing. Whoa! Yeah, my positioning there was not it. Absolutely not. Completely went to the right side for no reason. And thankfully, we were saved by our best friend, The Post. Love you, buddy. And that wraps up this one. Big win over the LA Kings. I know it's just a regular season game, but we just put them into the double digits for regulation losses. I'm not saying it's a big deal, but I'm not saying it's a little one either. 33 shots and only one goal against. Well, I might get my wish of the 9-10 save percentage. Temporarily, anyway. Second star, not a big deal. So next up, we have the San Jose Sharks, who are 17-19-3. Not having a good season. But then we play the Ducks, the former team of Scotty Boy, as well as Zegras. So that'd be a good one. And we'll pick one more game. Then we will go past the trade deadline, see if our team does anything. Next video, we finish up the season, and it is time to start the playoffs again. So let's sim up to this game against the Ducks. Hopefully the San Jose one goes well. Nice. Absolutely take that. I better be a net for this one. I just thought about that. All right, cool. We've moved up a spot. We are fourth in the league. Let's simulate this game, and hopefully it treats us nicely. But because it is a former team, and I really want the dub... We're likely going to get demolished. Barabanov scores, giving the Ducks a 1-0 lead. Oh, but it doesn't matter because we get it right back. It is 1-1. They're doubling us in shots at the moment. Not a good look. But you know what? All that matters is the scoreboard. And we're even there. Second period underway. They're getting all the shots again. Power play for the Ducks. They cannot capitalize. Good kill, Jackets. Halfway through the game, another power play for the Ducks. Are we trying to spoon feed this game to them? Here comes the airplane. What are we doing? And then Lucas Raymond scores. All right. So we might have a deficit here. Really? You don't even play for that team anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, it is comeback season. 3-1 lead. And I still have full faith in the lads that we can bring it back here in this third period and get the dub. They've made a few changes. I saw that they have Pelic. And there's a couple other new faces there. Obviously, Lucas Raymond being one of them. What a hit. Sit down. A penalty for what? That's a joke, ref. Oh, come on. Charging. It's probably the cleanest hit I've ever seen. 
Morgan Frost is another new addition to this team here. Drysdale rips one. Thankfully, just wide of the net. I was screened big time. Still got Troy Terry, who tries to go for a pass in the middle, but it is rejected. Frosty puts one right into the chest, really, so thank you for that. He wins the draw cleanly, but Marchenko got there quick and shut it down. There we go. That's my captain. Nice hit. Knocks down Raymond. And now Marchenko. Go for an end-to-end. -end. Just do it. Never mind. Make a beautiful pass. Yeah? What a ridiculous shot. Six Selly. Everything about that play was phenomenal. We're down by one. This is a very winnable game. We can do this. Holy crap. What a shot. They got Joey Decord in the net. Guy's been on fire recently. Or at least, you know, when I'm recording this. Maybe he's cooled off a little bit after, but still. Let's go. Just score another one. Just score another one. Just score another one. That's my captain. Are we sick? Are we just sick? Is that what it is? Like, something has to give here. Because the Columbus Blue Jackets are having a season. Look at this. Just walks in like it's nobody's business. It's basically like a hockey practice to this guy. We talk about practice. And on that amazing note, game's tied. 12 minutes left. And it's a clean slate for both teams. I'm not a fan of this. Don't like when they have the puck behind the net. But thankfully, Fives was able to get the puck in possession of Columbus. But unfortunately, as soon as we gain the zone here... It's coming right back. Nice pickoff by David. Really thought that was going in. I cannot lie to you. I was quite confident a goal was being scored right there. All right, we got to get this thing out of here. The Ducks are not messing around anymore. Yes. Holy crap. Holy crap, guys. What a goal. Marchenko. Back to back, gets the tying goal, and now the go-ahead goal. This guy is a machine, I'm telling you. What a freaking play by Columbus, tape to tape. Johnny gains the line, has one defender all over him. And then for some reason, this D-man steps up thinking he can get it. He was dead wrong. Pat, thanks, I didn't want to see the goal anyway, actually. That's cool. Blockered. And we cannot get possession of it. Raymond... Attempts to walk out, and then he got swarmed, so I see you guys. Just waiting for those high scoring chances. What was that? Surprised he shot it there, going to be honest. All right, yeah, we got to really do something here. The Ducks have been scolded by their coach or something because they are playing totally different all of a sudden. Again, another save. On Frosty. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. That's fine. That's a good play. Appreciate it. Oh, why? Okay, yeah. Please get this down the ice. Please. No. Not behind the net. Anything but that. Not the bees. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We're in one. No, we're not. Low blocker save. Positioning once again. Not the best. But the save was made. Thankfully, and a great breakout pass up to Zucker, who loses it immediately upon trying to enter the duck zone. Okay, whoa. Those weak shots will get you. That would have been beautiful. It's a goal, ref. It's in the net. Nope. Rejected. Minute 30 to go. That kills time. They're pulling their tendy. This is going to be an intense final minute. I did get a piece of that. Wow. Okay. Don't know how Scott managed to reach out because my positioning once again was not ideal, but maybe the 96 overall is really saving my bacon here with my lack of positioning skills. Also, that celebration from Trevor felt personal. The empty netter on his former team and he just hits them with the easy light work. Okay, send it out. 
15 seconds remaining. And this game is a lock. Told you. I told you. I had faith in the lads to come back in this third period. One final save. And that wraps it up. Big W for Columbus. Okay, save percentage is in fact above a 9-10. And goals against average is sub-3. That's going to fluctuate, of course. But as of right now, that's where it is. So we need to play one more game. Who should we play against? The Rangers are divisional. And it would be a big game to beat them because they are one below us. So... I'll sim up to this one. Big win over the Vancouver Canucks. Big win over the Jerks. Oh my word, we are on a roll. And then the Islanders had something to say about that. But we're right back in the W train. Just like good old times, eh, Trevor? Uh, team answer, for sure. And... No! Give me the diplomatic response or something. You know I don't like promises, Trevor. How dare you? No, Trevor! Knock it off! What's going on, man? I don't care if we're going to the movies or something. Here we go again. What? You're facing the Edmonton Oilers. What's your game plan? Who's Jordan Gavin? Who's that guy? You know what? I'm going for the star answer. Give me some brand... Act out. Act out. I don't care. Just anything but a promise. I feel like I said it was the year of the brand at the start. And then I kind of stopped doing that. But it's not too late to get back on. A few of us are heading over to a nearby lake. You're invited. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of wins. We might be first in the league right now. Uh, maybe. I'd have to go check. You're playing the Rangers. How important? That's exactly why I chose this game. So you're regurgitating everything I just said. Be original. So they currently have 71 points. We are on top of the division right now. And we are first in the league right now by actually quite a bit. Wow, the next closest would be the Stars and the Red Wings. But we have seven points on them. Could this be the year? That would be phenomenal. All right, we got the Rangers here. Let's see if we can take down this divisional opponent. Right now, they have nine shots to our none. Never mind, we got two. David gets one right back. That's what I like to see. Lindholm reestablishes the lead, but once again, it is immediately wiped away by Columbus. Wenberg scores, and it is a 2-2 hockey game after one. We gotta start getting some more shots here, though. I can only imagine if we get more shots, we're gonna score goals. Jones, thank you. Scores on Gustafson, and we have our first lead of the game, but this time, the Rangers wipe it away real quick, and we're back to being tied. Another power play goal. This is just a shootout. Goal fest, if you will. 4-3, and it seems to have cooled off a little bit. Erickson Eck gives them the insurance marker. Once again, we can do this. This game is not over yet. Allow us to do this thing. Here we go, Jackets. We got the home ice advantage. Just score one quick here, and we're sailing. Josh Norris, he finds Dumba, who goes for a skate, and he actually let off a wonderful shot for a rebound. I think that was Panarin trying to go and pick it up, but thankfully, our defense have learned their lesson. David just got taught a lesson. He was dropped like a two-foot putt. That was not a good sight to see. All right, Panarin. What is my positioning there? That was awful. Kempe. Whoa, took it wide. Found our guy in front as well. Was that Marchenko? That's a penalty. That's a penalty. You can't do that. You absolutely cannot do that. That's the captain, too? Oh, that's your captain? Mika Zabaniad with the tripping call. This could be our ticket back in the game. Nice pass. So close. So close. It's got to go in, right? No. Nope. No, it doesn't. Josh Norrissey sends it into the bench. That was a close one. Let it rip. That was a great save by Gustafson. He's really keeping his team in it here. And by that, I mean keeping his team in the lead. So, yeah, I feel like he's the main reason right now. And then he lets that in. Marchenko. Guy just finds the back of the net. It's actually insane. The cannon goes off. And just like that is a one-goal game. Little pass and nothing special there. I feel like Gustafson should have had that. But he didn't. All right, now we just need one more goal. That almost found a way. Okay, got to be careful here. Because, you know, even if our offense is going off, that means I can't let in a goal either. Eriksson back for revenge. 
David doesn't trust me. <laughs> Saw the shot about to be unleashed. And he was like, nope. Stepped up. Poke check. Nuge. I feel like that's the second time I've heard a post sound that I've never heard before. Yeah, I had no chance on that one. That was just nasty. I wonder, is our GM going to do anything at the deadline? Like, we could be a buyer. Obviously, we're not going to be a seller. And try to just add something to this team for the extra push. But we are first in the league right now. So, like, what do you add, you know? Like, we're already at the top. Okay. Okay, Kempe. Hey, yo. Did he just skate right through the net? <laughs> I'm pretty confident that this man just turned into Casper the Ghost and skated right through. I don't think we're going to get to see it either, unfortunately. It's a sick goal, though. Gets his own rebound. Fire me up. One goal game again. We still have over six minutes as well. So, even though I did let up another one, they have six goals. Oh, wow. What a hit. This game is within reach. It is very possible for Columbus to come back and take two points here. He's going to pass it. No, he's not. No, he's not. That was not a good call by me. Not a good call at all. All right. Well, I'm throwing, evidently. This game's on me, boys. I take full responsibility. I apologize. You can't let in seven goals and expect to win. But you know what? Those games are going to happen. You can't be on fire every night. There's going to be those games where it just seems like everything's going in. So, it is what it is. It's got to shake it off and move on. And again, as I always say, thankfully, it's the last game of the video. So, it's pretty easy to shake it off because we're done after this. And then I come back with a clean slate next time. Totally unaware of what happened in the last episode. So, we're chilling. These goalies are, like, impressing me. Ah! No, 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 no! I didn't see how I was supposed to... Oh, come on! What a nightmare of a game from Scott. This is tragic. You can't make this up. Also, the fact that they haven't pulled me? Little bit crazy. Can't lie to you. Nine. Nine goals. Well, anyone who took the over on this game is big chillin'. Wow, a save. Didn't think I'd be able to make another one of those. That was a pretty good one, too. Okay, well, let's uh, move on from that real quick. Forget that game ever happened. We actually still have a 914 and 281, so I will absolutely take that. We must have had really good stats going into that game. I'm gonna sim past? No. I'm gonna sim up to the trade deadline so that we can just have a look at our team, what we looked like beforehand, and then... Sim pass the trade deadline. See if we made any moves. Are you getting me X Factor points? Is the question I need to ask you. It doesn't seem like it. So I'm just gonna not read it at all. So here's the squadron right now. We're actually looking pretty healthy, which is good. Is Slavin back? Nice. All right, Ghoulie 83. So yeah, we pretty much have everybody. Wallman 82 on the third pair there. Team looks solid. Wouldn't be surprised if our GM doesn't do anything. But maybe they will. And Sim passed. This is actually going to be a big final episode because the President's Trophy is definitely ours to lose at this point, I want to say. A shutout there against the Islanders. You'll love to see that. So at the moment, we have 86 points. The Stars have 84. And the next closest is the Red Wings and the Kraken with 77. So... It's basically us and Dallas. Obviously, barring some sort of complete collapse from both teams. And then the other ones catch up. But yeah, right now, it is a two-horse race. And now the moment of truth. Did the GM do anything or are we rocking the same team? It looks like we are rocking the exact same team. Nothing really changed. Defensively. Okay, we got Cam York. That's something. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the only player I don't remember seeing before. Oh, actually, the Flyers are pretty close. And New Jersey's not that far away either. So clearly the Metro 
Just has a lot of good teams right now. But anyway, we are first in the league with 86 points. We actually have two games on Dallas as well, which is nice. So that is good to know. Trevor having a great first year with Columbus. 66 points in 62 games. 30 goals as well. Marchenko only has 23 goals, which is a little surprising to me. But he does have 53 points. 52 for Johnny who has only played 56 games. Ferguson came back down to earth a little bit. He's got a 915, 274. Still really good. Like incredible for a backup. And yeah, Scott, 913, 282, solid. We are currently leading the league. Not really a surprise there, considering we've played a lot of games and we are on the team that is first in the NHL at the moment. Kale McCarr running away with it for the defensive lead, 66 points, over point a game, but he is a dash 11. Miro Heiskanen, 31 in the plus minus column and 56 points so he's having a great year nathaniel betts of the vancouver canucks currently winning the art ross race 76 points in 64 games and then matthews and mcdavid both have 74 benson with 73 look at this guy go all right so can we win what i believe will be scott's first president's trophy we're gonna find out and that will be the way to close out our final year with columbus that would be a good way to go but I also obviously want a really deep playoff run because that's way more important. As always, appreciate you guys. If you're liking the series and could subscribe, that would be awesome. I will see you soon.